Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your Android device. I'm going to be showing you how to do this both over wired and wireless. Let's jump right into this. So for today's video, we're going to be starting out with the wired method. And for this, we're going to be needing an OTG cable. In this case, because my phone is a USB type C, I am going to be looking for a type C to USB. Now, this is just going to be a simple adapter that's going to have a USB C cable on one side. And on the other side, it's just going to have a full side USB port. So what we're going to be able to do is just connect our PlayStation controller via cable into this port, which will then connect up to our Android device. So in this case, I'm just going to be turning my phone to the side. I'm going to be connecting my OTG cable into my phone. Phone, and then I'm going to be getting a micro USB cable from this adapter that I have on my phone and I'm going to be connecting this to my PS4 controller. Simply plug your micro USB adapter with the USB cable into your OTG cable, get the micro USB side connected into your PS4 controller as so, and just like that you'll be able to use it directly. Android actually has built in native support for your PS4 controller. You can see it even works with the touchpad here if I try to play some music using YouTube Music. Everything works just fine. It's really nice that this supports this out of the box, you can connect this up to any emulator, any games, and as long as it supports remapping it might even support the controller by default. Everything should work here, and you can see just like that it works really really well. The second method we're going to be using for today's video is Bluetooth and since most Android devices have Bluetooth this should not be an issue. What we first need to do is open up our Bluetooth settings and as you can see I have my Bluetooth settings open right now and what we're going to be doing is click pair new device. Now in this case we're going to be searching for Bluetooth devices. So the first thing we need to do is make sure our PS4 controller is off. If it's already on you can really easily turn it off by pressing the power and share button together for a couple of seconds until the light on the top of your controller turns off and then your PS4 controller is off. To then put it in pairing mode we're going to be doing the same thing again. We're going to be holding the share button and power button for a couple of seconds while your controller is off and your controller will turn on in a flashing state. You can see right here. Now that's what we're going to be looking for, that means it's in a pairing mode. We're then going to be coming back to our Android device. You'll see a new device show up here in the Bluetooth settings as wireless controller, and that's going to be our PS4 controller. If we click this, click pair, you'll see the light on your controller will go fully blue. Just like that, again, we have native Android support for our PS4 controller, and you can see I can scroll around and move here no problem. I can even load up a game in RetroArch if you have your controller mapped previously. You can see it works on screen right now just for me. I have a previous video showing you how to connect the controller to RetroArch. I'll be leaving a link to that in the description down below so you can check that out if you're interested in it. And you can see just like that, it works without any issues. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to connect your PS4 controller to your Android device. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.